hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel um in this video we're going to begin a series on equation of straight lines right and so basically we're going to be looking at some concepts concepts of distance formula that is distance between two points on a line and then we're going to look at the concept of gradient which is also called the slope of a straight line and then we'll also see the concept of a uh, parallel and perpendicular lines and then and then we now get into equation of straight lines now basically a line is actually formed by you know many points many points when you have many many points like what i'm doing now joined together it will produce a line okay and so and at some point you can just have a point here maybe a and then another point here maybe b and then when you join the two of them together, you will get uh, a line, okay? Right, so that is to say that the genesis of a line is from a point, and that's why you see two points here as, uh, you know, as we begin to talk about lines, okay? So and when you have a Cartesian plane, a Cartesian plane is a plane that is made up of the X and the Y axis. Thus, you have two axes in that kind of plane. Apart from Cartesian plane, we can also have a three-dimensional plane and all of that. Okay, so now a point in a Cartesian plane is always made up of uh, two coordinates. So you have the X coordinate and then the Y coordinate. Okay, so you would need the X coordinate to come from, like for using this as an example, you can see from here, if you trace it down to the X axis, whatever you have here is the X coordinate. And then when you trace it to the Y axis, whatever you have here is the Y coordinate. And so this is the X one, and this is the Y one that joined to form this point A. And that's why every point, whenever you write a point, say A, you always represent it with its coordinate, the X and the Y. So far as it is from a Cartesian, called a Cartesian plane, sorry. And so you can also see that of uh, B. If you trace this to the X, to the Y axis, you will get the Y axis here, which is Y2. And if you trace it down, this way to the x axis you get the x coordinate which is x2 right so now so let's go so by formula this uh, distance is actually the distance ab using this line as an example in this cartesian plane here that's distance ab so how do you get that now of course we know by pythagoras rule when you have a a, a right angle triangle this way that uh, of course you know if that here is called the hypotenuse and then here maybe here is the opposite and then this is the adjacent by pythagoras rule we are told that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared okay so and uh, of course if you get this distance from this particular shape here you are going to see that this distance is going to be your y2 minus y1 which is going to give us this okay and of course you know this has formed a rectangle here so this side is equal to this side and so here is also y2 minus y1 whereas this place is now x2 which is the distance at this point and then minus this x1 here so and that will give us this distance here x2 minus x1 all right so from here we are able to generate the formula for our uh, the distance we are looking for maybe i should okay of course from here we can see it is a b so the implication is that our a b squared let me put it in uh, absolute value is equal to you know the square of uh, y y2 sorry minus y1 all squared then plus x2 you know minus x1 all squared okay and then at that point the implication is that my a b alone that's the distance i'm looking for is simply the square root of um all squared okay so that's how this formula was generated for the calculation of the distance between uh two points all right so this formula is what we call the distance formula and we use it to calculate the distance 
of a particular line or the length of a particular line. So let's look at uh, uh, these examples here. All right. The first example here, it says we should find the distance between the following points. Remember, I told you that one when you join two points, you are going to get a line. OK, so how do we get the distance using the uh, formula we just wrote? So remember, any one can actually be your X1 and another can be your X2. So but it's always good to name the first point X1, Y1. So this is our X1 y1 and this is our x2 y2 right so if we use that formula there it means that our a b in this case is going to be the square root of um, my x2 is minus 2 minus 3 which is my x1 all squared and that is plus uh, my y2 is 5 minus minus 1 which is my y1 right and then from here i'm going to have the square root of um this is uh, minus five all squared so i'm going to have minus five squared which is 25 plus this one is uh, six because this is going to turn to plus so you're going to have five plus one here and that's six squared which is 36 and of course that's going to give me the square root of uh, this plus this is going to be equal to 61 if you add the two together and then of course you can stop here a uh, unit squared whatever is the unit of course you will sorry it's not going to be squared it's just distance so you put whatever is the unit there and that is your solution okay and then for example b sorry number two i'm just going to do number two and i will allow you look at number three yourself okay so let's look at that we are using the same example, sorry, the same, uh, our formula, which is uh, the square root of uh, x1 minus y1, sorry, x1 my x2 minus x1, and our x2 here is minus 8, so we have minus 8 minus minus 1. This is our x1, okay, all squared, then plus, uh, what then is our, y2 our y2 is minus 4 which is this minus our y1 which is 3 all squared okay and this is equal to the square root of if you add uh, you open this back here this will change to plus so minus 8 plus 1 is minus 7 squared and this is going to give us uh, of course remember to put bracket here this is going to give us also minus 7 squared and this is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 49 plus 49. And that's equal to the square root of uh, 98. Okay. And of course, if we like, we can reduce this into any smaller unit if it is possible. But if it is not, we can as well leave it this way. And of course, whatever is the unit here is uh, what you will have here. So, and that's how to calculate the, 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 the distance between two, any two points you are given. Just substitute into the formula and you will get uh, the solution that is required. All right. This is uh, Precious Ugweze is my name. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and please do like and share our YouTube videos. Uh, we'll see you in our next lesson. Bye.